What's going on, on YouTube? This is the first episode of ET Reviews. I'm em You're Emily? <laughs> I'm Emily. I'm Tyler. That's Emily. And we review stuff. And, and things. things. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the first thing we're going to be reviewing is actually the first season of The Walking Dead. We just sat all day and watched it in black and white. Um, so we're kind of going to talk about the differences between the black and white and the regular one. And if it's really that big of a deal you know, of it being black and white or does it <coughs> really not change the experience at all. Um, some of, some, I don't, I wouldn't say the best, but some, um, uh, the best known horror movies are, um, in black and white. And actually what we did to make it black and white, I just own the normal Blu-ray set right here. Um, I had the, uh, the black and white pilot from the collectors and I compared it to just turning off down the color on my normal TV, and, um, I mean, this was the exact same as the, uh, black one that was made in black and white, so, I don't know, maybe the ones that they aired in TV were a lot different, but, uh, this would definitely was not, um, but yeah, what'd you think of it in, uh, black and white? Well, I don't really think it was much of a difference from it actually being in color, I mean, it's cool because it's like the old black and white horror movies, like people said, but... It doesn't, to me, make the show any more special. Right. Makes it a little less gory, I guess. I guess so, because it's not, like, red blood and yeah. guts. It's just all black and white. But, um, I think the first, the premiere was actually better in black. Not, like, better than the regular premiere, but I thought it was really good in black and white. And actually, I think the premiere was a lot better than the rest of the TV show in black and white. Um... I almost felt like the black and white was kind of, like, it was cool. Like, it would be, like, cool at times. Like, I've seen this show countless times. Uh, season yes. one. I have. I was quoting it earlier, actually, as it was playing. Um, so it was kind of neat seeing it in black and white. It changed it a little bit. But, like, I don't know. I don't know if I could actually recommend someone going back and watching it in black and white and telling them that it was just, like, freaking amazing. Stuff. I, I, don't, I don't think I could do that. Maybe just if you're bored like we were and everything else to do, then watch in black and white just to get the experience. And yeah. I don't know. It, um, I mean, like I said, it was fun, but um, that was just our thoughts on the black and white part. But uh, on to the original. Actually, I think the discs are in black and white. But anyway, yeah. <laughs> um, on to the actual television show. If you guys have not seen The Walking Dead, it is up to three seasons. It's based off of a comic book by Robert Kirkman. Uh, which is my favorite comic book of all time. Yeah, it's my favorite TV show of all time. So we'll talk about that later and more videos to come. Um, I recommend this show highly. It's not just a zombie. It's not just a zombie horror show. It's a really, very good story. Too. Right, right. You get to see the characters. It's not just about zombies. Uh, they're, you, they're a big part of it. You fall in love with characters, and then there's characters that you... You hate and just want to die. Yeah, yeah. I love Rick. <laughs> yeah, you named your fish after him. I named my fish after Rick. But you you really do. You fall in love with these characters, and it's really a story of survival more than anything. Um, in fact, the quote from the uh, comic book is like, you know, how many days do you spend just watching TV and, you know, something, something. Um... In a world ruled by the dead, we're finally forced to start living. And, um, I mean, you actually see it, you know, they, they find a little base camp, you know, and they fish and stuff, but other than, and they, they have, like, one good meal that night, that whole, like, time. Mm -hmm. They're together, have, like, fried fish and stuff. Uh, and they're really, really celebrating. Something that we would, um, take for granted, and, you know, you know, um, before, while this is posted, Memorial Day is coming up. You know, there will be people eating their full, their fill on that, you know, and it's just crazy. Um, and a lot of zombie shows, I think zombies more than anything, it makes me think of that would suck. That actually if happens. that actually happened. <laughs> that would suck. Especially in The Walking Dead. But um, at the same time, this is the only zombie thing I actually enjoy. Because it's not, I don't feel like it's not just all about... You're just being attacked by zombies. Right, right. Run away. And like most zombie yeah. places, 
it'll be like a movie, like, and they'll be in one building the whole time, and it's just them, and their life sucks. I mean, their life sucks in this show. Yeah. But they they survive. They adapt. They go on to different places. You know, you're not just stuck in one place. As you can just see the city of Atlanta. Actually, that's one of the coolest shots right there. You can see Rick on his horse, which is the best character in the whole show, walking into the city. No spoilers. No spoilers. But, um, it's a very awesome show. I recommend it. I recommend buying it on Blu-ray also, because the Blu-ray, you probably, you haven't, she hasn't seen season one in a long time because she's a fraud, but... Because I have a life. The Blu-ray, the Blu-ray is a big <laughs> difference, actually, from the normal. And, uh, I actually don't really notice I don't Blu-ray. See it. I, if you compare them, I compare them. The blood and the zombie is just freaking awesome. Maybe it's just me being a fanboy, but... Probably. <laughs> I think it's awesome. Um, season one is only six episodes. You got the, uh, like I said, no spoilers, but you got, um, I know the first one's called What Lies Ahead. I, I don't have an episode. For some reason, it doesn't have, like, an episode gap or anything, but um, if you guys do decide to go with the Blu-ray set, also, I think the regular DVD set might be a two-disc set. I don't know, but the Blu-ray set, you'll get disc one and disc two. Disc one has episodes one through four. This two has episodes five and six and all the extra features. Um, they also have like a collector set, which is like three discs. Um, it has like a, just a bunch of bonus footage, but this has you can see that all online if you really, really want to. I might buy the collector's edition eventually, but <laughs> even though you already have it, have it. Yeah, but it's the collector's edition though. But, um, <coughs> yeah, I definitely give this, The Walking Dead Season 1, um, a 10 out of 10, a 10 out of 10 for me, uh, I think it's just awesome, a gripping story. I get it 11 out of 10. 11 out you're just making things difficult, <laughs> don't do that. Just one up in you. But, I mean, would you say that this is the greatest zombie thing? Probably, yeah. Media? I mean, I've never really been that into zombie movies or shows, but... I absolutely the love The Walking Dead. Oh, yeah, for sure. It's you need to read amazing. comic books. Maybe. Because I have, like, the compendium. Possibly. Maybe one day. I'm trying to make her. But, um, yeah, if you guys haven't seen The Walking Dead, you can find it online. Uh, they'll re-air it on AMC all the time. Mm -hmm. Especially when Season 4 airs. Season 3 just ended. Season 4 will air, air soon. October 11th, I think. Um, so they'll re-air the seasons if you really just want to wait. <coughs> Excuse me. If you really just want to wait for the TV uh, airs, but honestly, you can find them online. You can go to Walmart and buy the set, the regular DVDs, not the Blu-rays, and the Blu-rays, but regular set for 20 I believe the Blu-ray is, I got it for 35 and Best Buy sells them too. But definitely a 10 out of 10 for both of us. Um, 11 out of 10 for me. 11 out of 10 for her because she's retarded. <laughs> Highly recommend this to any zombie fan. Um, comic book fan, whatever. Um, anything else? I think that's about it. All right. it up. All right, and that's it for our first review. Uh, if you like this video, be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. Give us ideas on what we should do differently. Or what the review, give us some ideas for what we want to review. And, uh, yeah. I don't know. We'll be reviewing the rest of The Walking Dead eventually and some other stuff, comic books, video games, stuff like that. Basically anything. We might do a mm -hmm. vlog here or there. It just depends. We're just going to make videos and enjoy YouTube and making videos. So, mm -hmm. this is ET it. Reviews from Tyler's Room, and I'll see you later.